In this video, I'm going to talk you through how to install WordPress onto your site. There are two ways that you can do this, and the easiest way is from your web hosting control panel. Now, this particular account that I'm installing WordPress on has cPanel hosting, so I've logged into cPanel. Uh, if you have uh, a different type of hosting package, then your control panel might look a bit different. And if your website hosting package comes with either Fantastico or Softdelicious, then the installation process is very straightforward indeed. Some other hosting packages come with their own proprietary control panel, which does also include an installation button for WordPress, like I'm going to demonstrate here. OK, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here, because this particular hosting account comes with Softdelicious, and I'm going to select WordPress. So I click on there. It takes me through to this page, and when I select the Install tab, then you can start to see all the information that you need to enter in. You can choose the protocol, so if your site has a security certificate, you can choose between HTTP and HTTPS. I'm going to leave it at the default settings. You can choose a domain, so if you have a subdomain, then you can add it on here. You can choose the directory. Uh, by default, WordPress will set things up in the WP directory. However, if you want to have it in the root directory, then just simply delete that. It'll give you the database name and the table prefix. You can change these if you want. I'm going to leave it all at the default settings. Let me scroll down a bit further. Then you give the site a name and the site a description. Um, because this is just a demonstration video, I'm going to leave these at the default settings, but normally I would put the proper site name and description and so on in there. Then you want to add the administration account. By default, it will set it up as admin. Personally, I would change this because hackers know that most WordPress blogs have the admin username as admin. Because this is just a demonstration, I'm going to leave it at admin. Uh, password, you need to enter in. Let's uh, put something in. Uh, actually, you can click here and generate a random password, although you should be certain to copy and paste that uh, onto your computer's clipboard and then save it as a text file just so that you know exactly what it is and you don't find yourself locked out of your account. You've got the admin email, it'll set it at admin at your domain by default. I'm going to leave it at this setting. You can set the language. It'll set it as English by default, but you can have all sorts of other different languages if you're in a non-English speaking country. Limit login attempts. That's always a good thing to have because if a hacker tries to um, attack your site and tries to make its way into the dashboard, then you can limit that and it'll lock them out after a certain period of time. And then you can set the themes. Uh, as it says, this is optional. If you don't select it, a default theme will be installed. And then all you do is come down to the Install button. And you can have it email installation details to an email address. And I recommend that you do that because then it's going to have a reminder of what the um, the username and the password is. I'm actually going to skip that because I've got it uh, copied. So now I'll click on install. Let's just go back to the top there. And there we go. You can see that it's now been installed. And if I go to the site, you can see it's installed this installation of WordPress. So what do you do if you can't install WordPress from your web hosting control panel? 
Well, it is actually quite simple. First of all, you want to come to wordpress.org. Be sure to come to wordpress.org, not wordpress.com. And then click the button here to download the software. Uh, you can download it either as a zip file or a tar file. At the time that I'm making this video, the most recent version is version 4.1.1. So download this to your computer's hard drive. And then what you need to do is to click here where it says we've created a handy guide. So let's click there where they will talk you through exactly what you need to do to install WordPress manually. And as they say, it's the famous five minute install. It only takes five minutes to install this. You'll need some FTP software to install this on your server. And the best one that I know of is FileZilla, which you can download from filezilla-project.org. And this is a free FTP client, and it's very, very easy to use. So there you go. That's how you can install WordPress onto your site.